Let's take a look at the LEGO Star Wars New Republic E-Wing versus Shin Hadi Starfighter. This set retails for 110 US dollars and it comes with 1056 pieces. Those pieces are divided among 10 different bags. 1 through 6 builds the E-Wing and 7 through 10 builds the Shin Hadi Starfighter. Meaning that this set of course comes with two separate instruction manuals. However, they do share a sticker sheet that has 13 stickers. This set comes with five minifigures and it looks like I've pretty much got them in the wrong order. But it comes with Captain Porter, Morgan Elsbeth, Balin Skull, Shin Hadi, and also the New Republic Astromech Droid. All of the minifigures come with alternate faces and Captain Porter comes with a hair element as well. However, I much prefer his helmet. All of the minifigures have some detailing on the back besides that New Republic Astromech Droid. We got a couple red lightsabers here. I'm also excited about that because I want to meet these characters. Also, I want to meet this droid. I think they're all going to be featured in Ahsoka show, right? Yeah, that's going to be hyped when that uh, show comes out. We got the E-Wing Starfighter right over here. Pretty neat. We can fit the uh, astromech droid sideways in there. Got some nice detailing using some sticker elements on those 2x4 tiles. Not a whole lot of print in these or in this set in general. Some more sticker elements here. The wings, though, really reminded me of the technique used in the Buzz Lightyear N1 Starfighter, but it's way more hype than that, actually. I'm gonna flip it over and show you like all of the Technic work in here and just the way that these wings have that unique like curvature to them. So cool. And then on the bottom side of the wings, you can also see uh, the thrusters and also the cannons on either side. And then down here, we can also see the landing gear. The landing gear can fold in like this. And then the front one folds like that. So it's pretty neat how you've got some landing gear on the front and also some landing gear on the back. I appreciate that because when this thing is in a landed position, it just sort of keeps it off the ground and displays it like really well. And you can see the curvature in the wings. That was the highlight of the build for me. The curvature in the wings was like next level in my opinion. Uh, then we also have a really nice printed windscreen up here. And of course you can fit a minifigure inside that cockpit. A little bit of space in there. Just your standard cockpit, I would say. And then there's a couple stud shooters on either side as well, one on either side. Sort of like a short, stumpy ship, like the nose of it isn't very long, but I actually really like the look of it, just the way like it curves there. And also the slight angle that is built using those uh, hinge plates there. Yeah. Honestly, like this one surprised me, the E-Wing in, in particular. Just the wings and the way that the body was constructed. Honestly, like this was a really good build. Yeah, so there we have the E-Wing. Let's move on to the next one. I don't think Shin Hadi's Starfighter was as exciting to me as the E-Wing, but still, it's got some really interesting techniques to it. Something that's sort of weird about it is it's not symmetrical, which I guess that's okay. Authentic to the Starship, right? I really like the front of it here. You see that like six-sided, what's six-sided? Hexagonal shape? I think so. Yeah, so we got a hexagonal shape on the front there and there's a nice print piece in there. You've seen those print pieces before, but just the way that was created. You see that in the interior? Yeah, so that's really neat. I thought that was super cool. And then also this like part right here, we can see the blasters on top and these nice ingots. This can also be removed. What are you going to stow away in there? I don't know. Whatever you want. Any sort of cargo. And then there's also another cargo hold back here. Specifically, you can put a lightsaber back here. That's why there's a clip. And then there is the windscreen right here that has a printed, or has print on it. And there is a sticker inside. Once again, you can fit the minifigure in there pretty easily. The bottom of it, sort of what you expect, just exposed plate really. No landing gear on this one. Just has some of these modified circular pieces that sort of just keep it flush with the ground and even. Nothing too crazy about this one. I really like the circular parts here and also the construction of the body as well with the different brackets and the curved slopes and some sticker detailing as well. So yeah, pretty cool set that comes with two uh, Lego Star Wars starships. 
some great minifigures. I'm excited to see these in action in the Ahsoka show. And I think this is a, a pretty good one. I was, once again, blown away by the construction of this one. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by for another LEGO Star Wars review. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff, and farewell.